Hi friends, welcome back. So one of the viewers had asked how to write the test case in an Excel sheet. In this video, I will be explaining you the overall the, the template of a test case template and also explaining you how to write the test cases in the Excel sheet. The sample test case template would look like something like this. We will have a test case ID column, then we have a module name column. Then we have a test scenario. Then test scenario can be further divided into test case. And also we will have to define in order to execute this test case, what are the prerequisites are required and also what kind of test data is really required in order to execute this test also you should document it in this test case. Plus detailed test steps also you would be required to write and expected results an actual result. You should also mark this test case as passed or failed status. So we will be documenting in this column. Plus if you see any additional observation or if you wanted to provide any feedback regarding this test case then you can write it in the comment section. For writing the sample test case so I have taken a functionality web home page functionality for a given website any website it could be Amazon, Flipkart or any website after entering a username and password and click on login button the application should take you to home page that is the validation we wanted to make and we will see how to write the test cases in this excel format here so first we should talk about the test case number one that is the first case then model name what is the model name which is web home page and the test scenario is where I will be verifying the home page functionality. The test case here we are talking about validate the home page displayed after entering username and valid password. Here both valid username and valid password we are trying to provide here and in order to execute this test case what is the prerequisites are required. The prerequisites are appropriate browser should be installed in your computer. Suppose if your uh, application supports only IE then IE should be there then Chrome if you wanted to test then Chrome browser should be there or Safari browser should be there or uh, Firefox browser should be there whatever the browser which your application supports that browser required to be installed in your machine that is a prerequisite first prerequisite plus there should be a network connection should also be there it could be your LAN connection or your internet connection where your application can be easily accessed using that network connection that also required to be there. Then the third is your application should be up and running. Then only I can access the application via URL where I can enter username and password. So that is the prerequisite is required in order to execute this test case. Then the test data what is required here is username and password is a test data. Here test data is valid username and valid password. Then we should talk about test steps in this G column where I will be entering a detailed steps like open the browser, then the enter URL. After entering the URL, the web application to, should be opened up. After uh, web application is opened, then there should be a fields like uh, username and password should be there then login button also should be there. There you will be logging the valid username and valid password. When you entered valid username and valid password when click on login button then the application should take you to the home page. Then uh, when you are executing by following all these steps if you are observing a diff different behavior then you should call that out what is the actual result while you are performing your test results. Let's say both expected results and actual results are not the same then the test case is will remain fail and appropriately your observation in, you can document it in the comment section. The second test case is similar to the first test case. The only difference here is so I will be utilizing the negative scenario here. All the steps will remain same except here I will be entering a valid username and an invalid password. When I am entering a valid username and invalid password then still I should not be able to log in into the system. It should throw error message. Similarly we have a third test case where I will be entering a invalid username but I will be entering a valid password. Even in this combination also it should throw an error message. And similarly we have one more case which is fourth case which is 
still a negative case here i will be entering both username and password is completely an invalid one after entering invalid username and invalid password again it should throw an error message and it should not allow you to login into your application this is how you should write a test case in an excel format i am hoping you guys have got a clear idea how to write your test cases in an excel format if you guys really like this video then please click on like button